Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I had to go to a meeting in the big city yesterday, and on the way home uh, last evening, I decided to turn on the radio to see if I could find anything decent to listen to. And as my tuner was scanning, it stopped for a minute on some on a clear signal, so I kind of pressed it so it would stay there. And I was about to change it because it was a it sounded like it was kind of a Christian talk radio thing, and they weren't didn't seem like they were uh, talking about anything I wanted uh, to listen to. But then this lady came on the air, and they started interviewing her, and I was mesmerized. I never caught her name. So when I came home, I was telling Paladin Prepper about the interview and what I learned, and he said, man, I wish we knew who that was. I said, I'll try to find it. And I did find her, and I knew it was the right person because after watching a lot of YouTube videos, uh, that have her on it, I heard her retell a story that she told, that I heard on the air yesterday, so I was thrilled to find her. Her name is Dr. Katherine Albrecht, and she's fascinating, and this is the video I'm going to link to. It starts out a little weird. It's kind of got a cowboy pastor on the stage introducing her, which is a little strange to me, but anyway, she comes on, and she does approach the subject a little bit from a Christian perspective, but she's not particularly preachy till the end. Some of that I don't agree with, uh, but I don't care. The information in the middle is invaluable, and I suggest you listen to it. I think she will open your eyes to some things. She, she has written a book called Spy Chips, and it's about the RFID chip that's being implanted in lots of things, including in people themselves. And it's fascinating what she has to say. And she kind of backs the train up a little bit and starts by talking about Social Security cards. That those were the first kind of tracking devices that were issued. And uh, there wasn't too much to do about that. And we swallowed that. And then we got credit cards with numbers on them. And we buy and sell with credit cards, many of us, not, uh, not ever using cash. Uh, but she said... Now we've gone to these RFID chips, and this is a totally different animal because they can actually track you. This, this little antenna that they implant and everything, it really doesn't do anything until, um, until a reader is, uh, comes in contact with it and stimulates that little RFID chip. And when that happens, all the information that's contained therein can be read off, and it doesn't matter... Who has the reader? Uh, anybody, anybody could read it if they have the reader. She told a fascinating story about um, some of these mega churches that just have thousands and thousands of members, and on Sunday morning they get all these little kids into Sunday school, and you know half the workers there don't know them, and that at some of these mega churches they've installed these panels where the little kid puts their hand up and that panel reads their palm print and then they know where to warehouse these kids for the next two hours or whatever while their parents are in worship service uh, so that so that these thousands of children can be retrieved and returned to the right parent. But she said that is a scary proposition. These little kids have, have had their, you know, their palms scanned and they just put their little hand up to the door and reads exactly who they are. She said, but these RFID chips are everywhere. She said they're uh, going to put them in medicine chests, and they're going to put them in refrigerators so that the products that go in and out of your refrigerator will be, uh, will be scanned constantly, that they'll know how many times you used your toothpaste or how many times you took the carton of milk out of the refrigerator and how long that carton of milk lasted you. She said they can even implant these chips in trash bags so that, uh, say, if somebody had a reader and went to the dump, they could, they could scan a trash bag. Of course, they know you bought it because you bought it with your credit card that has an RFID chip in it, so they tracked it. They can automatically identify who bought that trash bag and when and then scan the contents of it. She said they, could, they put RFID chips in some... Uh, dog food bags, she said, let's say you leave home, uh, you live in Minnesota and you decide to go to Florida for a vacation to go down there and eat some crab and seafood and bask in the sun and you take your dog with you 
and uh, you take your dog food and you throw your dog food away down there. So anybody could scan that and know who bought it, when they bought it, where they bought it, you know, that it was bought in Michigan, but that, you know, you were probably down in Florida on a vacation, and I'm talking it's creepy. It is just creepy. Uh, one, of the, one of the products that have an RFID chip, or at least did at some point, was Philadelphia cream cheese. Just another reason for me to boycott Kraft. Uh, if you delve enough into, into their connections, you won't want to buy anything from them either, and there's no Kraft products in this house. The last thing I bought Kraft was a, uh, in fact, I think I made a video of it of some dressing and marinade, kind of this little duo pack that I found on sale at Walmart. That's it. That is the last Kraft product I bought and the last one I will buy. Uh, but here's something that you might want to know. These little things that you have on your keychain that give you discounts at places, it's another way to track you. Look at how many I have on my keychain. I'm showing them to you now because I'm taking them off tonight. I won't use them anymore. Some of them I haven't used in a long time. Some of them are grocery stores. Oh, one of them is Panera. That's good. You, you use that enough times they give you like a free cookie or something. Who cares? Uh, Office Max. That could be interesting what kind of tax program I'm buying, or how many ink cartridges I buy, or whatever. Here's one for Walgreens. That usually gets me some good deals, but I think this is going away, and they're going to give you good, good deals anyway. She said, here's what's amazing, is at your grocery store, you used to be able, okay, here's a grocery store one. Uh, at your grocery store, everybody, when something went on sale, everybody got the sale. You know, everybody got the deal. But now they issue these, and only the people with these get the sale. Do you see the bait? It's the bait for you to take one of these because it's got a number on the back that can track you and it can track your purchases and track, you know, how much, you know, how much uh, Coca-Cola or Pepsi you're buying and how much is being consumed in your household. All of these are tracking devices. Not that they have an RFID chip in them, but they've got a number and that number that number hooks up in the computer to your address and your name and your phone number. And, uh, I mean, that's what they are. It's a way to track you. They're coming off of my keychain today. Uh, so what if you get a little discount here or a little discount there? Uh, it's not worth it to me, and I don't want them having that information. And I have used uh, not a debit card but a credit card to pay for purchases uh, in the past and just pay that off every month. And I am seriously considering getting rid of that and going to cash only. Uh, I may I may hang on to one, but not one with an RFID chip. Oh, let me show you one. I have one. Hold on. If you've got, let me see how much I can show you without really showing you. Yeah, if you've got one that has this little symbol, that little sound wave symbol thing, uh, that has an RFID chip in it, okay? You don't want to have that credit card. I'm getting rid of those, too. Anyway, go listen to Dr. Katherine Albrecht. I believe she has a website, too. I haven't checked that out. I'll list it below called uh, www.katherinealbrecht.com. I'll post the link to that and the link to the video. But listen to what she has to say. It will amaze you. Uh, you'll probably hear some things you haven't heard before. I hope you find it interesting. Just felt like I needed to share it with you. Cat's Cradle.